Hello everyone, and welcome back to King Koi, Golden Time, Jokasaki's Route. Well, we're returning for the time being. Hi. I don't exactly remember what happened, but I remember it was funny. Oh, it was the whole thing with the uh, with Jokasaki's grandfather. That's right. And hilarity. That's like the only thing I remember from the episode, and it's a lot. That's the only thing you need to remember. Yeah. We all decided to leave for the time being. Just kidding. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi guys, I haven't seen you in a long time. By the way, I'm getting married. What? Actually, that would have been an amazing surprise for Oro. Mm -hmm. If, like, imagine he wasn't on this route, but the same thing happened. Oh, it'd be great. It'd be like, oh, Iroe, my boy, that's awesome. You're getting married to who? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's rough, buddy. De but, 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 what do you mean? She's over 18 years old. Wait. Wait. Everyone in this game is over 18. Exactly. Don't don't think about it too hard. I mean, technically, holding off until your 20s only took hold in the last eh, 70 years or so. So, I mean, thanks to uh, Western influences. You have her approval. <laughs> but not Rhea's or Rhea's. <laughs> Anyhow, we headed back on our own. I wonder what happened with Jokasaki. Not to mention you'd have Ella as a sister, which would be interesting. Uh, yeah, actually. おじいさまの手間を取らせて何の成果もあげられずつまりあやか別に学校が嫌になったとかそういう理由で結婚を急いだのではないのだねえいや結婚したいと言い出したのも 100% また昔のように庶民どもの圧迫に耐えられず不登校を考えたからではないのだねあももちろんです私はもう庶民なんかに負けません前場たちの嫌がらせに負けたのも小学校の頃のほんの一時の気の迷いです私はもう負けませんわ庶民中に。確かにおかしいとは思ったのだ。最近のお前は庶民に対する恐れもすっかり克服していたから、急に見合いなどと言い出して。別に恐れてなど。I was about to say fear of commoners. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jokasaki, here's a guy picking up trash. Ah! Stop, you're scaring her. That is very prophetic, and I find it very interesting the way his personality has changed, but I can no longer take him seriously. <laughs> Look. 
He is just Master Roshi. <laughs> he really is. Daga. Sore o Hitoni Shirasete wa Nara. Tokuni Shomin Domoni wa Nara. He's Master Roshi with a superiority complex. It's a little bit more like Dragon Ball, Master Roshi, at the beginning, anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. Iroe kun to no endan wa.今回は見送りとしよう。彼はソルティレージュとのパイプ役に欲しかったが、姫君と仲がいいのならばまた他のあての方が役立つ。あの方はその不肖ながらカバレロさんと同じ名字なのを見落としました。やりにくくなるので見
我々もまた金や権力という虚栄に守られているだけの一人の人間に過ぎん彼に一人の人間として返事をしてきなさい相手が庶民だから自分とは違うからとまっすぐに見ない人間は目が曇っている目の曇った愚人など貴族とは呼べん城ヶ崎はお前を庇護しお前は城ヶ崎のためにあるそれは小さい頃から教えてきた通りだだが城ヶ崎はお前の逃げ場所ではない<笑>言ったはずだぞお前は城ヶ崎をより大きくより強くするためにある名前に甘えるような軟弱者に育てた覚えはないおうよいなはいまっすぐに見て返事をままっすぐにだなんてでは今日はもう帰りなさい来週にはまた天末を伝えに来ることあはいうんあと来週もまたリアちゃん来ないかな<笑>レーナちゃんの方もいいなわしああいうやんちゃ系の孫欲しかったのよ<笑>いや綾香は綾香ですごいうまく育てたと思うけど Her face. That is the proper reaction. Absolutely. Tatoeba, Elchin to Kaminian, that a dochi no hoga e to mo. In what context? Because we've done both? Dochira mo e wari de tori rare a ite do ari masen. エロいのは妹ですし、神なる様はお使いすべき主君です。Okay, never mind. It's not that kind of game as we have established ad nauseum. <laughs> 単純に見た目で。Well, we almost unestablished it in this route. We're going to pretend that didn't happen, even though we can never forget. 神なる様です。<laughs> やっぱロリコンだわ。<laughs> ロリコンだわ。Yet again, we find ourselves learning a lot about characters we weren't expecting to. You know, it happens. Appropriate. おかえりリースおかえりなさいませ先ほど城ヶ崎の方からご連絡いただきましたはい始まる前にというのもなんですけど今回はご縁がなかったということで助かりますもっと早くに年齢を確認すべきでした Which is 18? Just for clarification. Wait, actually, wouldn't she and everyone of this year have to be 19 because. Don't think about it too much. Anyway. I had gotten a call, so I was waiting in my room alone when. Sure. Jokasaki came over once she had gotten home. She wanted to give me her answer from before, it seemed. What kind of answer? Well, I knew that already. <laughs> okay, but maybe now would be the right time to break out the magic words, the I am Ichi line, maybe? You know, I'm actually thinking because it's gone on this long, 
I'm thinking it will not come out until a scene or two from now. Like they will get together and then Oh, and then the she will and then they'll figure it out and not the other way around. Okay. I think you might be right. Oh no. Yes. Yeah. I figured it was about that. Um. Not exactly what I was expecting, but okay. Uh, okay. That was unexpected. Oh, well, I could have just said nothing. It had made her happy? Was she just being polite? I was overjoyed, regardless. その本当に嬉しいと思いました。じ、自分でも意外でしたわ。あなたのことそんな風に思ってないとばかり。なのにあんなに嬉しいなんて。その本当に嬉しくて。いや。Yeah. She was hard-pressed for what to say next. Some single word that was on her mind. Intent. Say, Jokosaki. Hi? Which way is that exactly? I took a step closer. How do you feel about me? Jokazaki. Hi. I know you may not have thought this all the way through, but please try. To be honest, I didn't know how I felt about you this morning. After thinking about it, I realized I like you. You should try to do the same thing. Hi. It felt peculiar to practically persuade someone as I confessed to them, but this really seemed like my chance and I wasn't about to let it get away from me. I had no intention of acting like some cocky guy who would wait for the person he liked to confess back to him. Commoners got more down and dirty, which is convenient because that's what this is going to take to work. It made me super depressed when I heard you went to a marriage interview earlier. I want to keep you from going if I can. Really? Oh, well then. Instead of some troublesome marriage interview, do you want to try taking that step with me? <laughs> Go out with me, Jokosaki. <laughs> Jokasaki. I took another step closer. We were close enough that we could nearly touch each other. Even so, she didn't run away. How do you feel about me? I asked her again. 
Jokisaki hesitated and seemed tongue-tied. Perhaps she didn't know the answer herself. I love you, and you were happy about that, right? Why is that? Although it was pretty underhanded of me, I posed that question to her. But... Jokasaki didn't run away. She absolutely had cold feet over this. One of the best things about her was that even if there was a situation she disliked, she wouldn't play it off by crying or by running away. I guess she did wind up picking on commoners as a consequence of that. But for now... Is it the sort of feeling where you don't mind if I do this? Clutch. What are we clutching? <laughs> I touched her hand. Okay. She didn't pull away. I gently tugged at her hand. And she still didn't try to escape. Squeeze. <laughs> Even while I hugged her, she didn't budge. How about when I do this? Personally speaking, I thought my heart was about to leap out of my chest. I knew all of the horrendous feelings I had when I heard about her marriage interview had been the flip side to my love for her. What about Jokasaki? She... Passed out? Jokazaki suddenly went limp. She suddenly collapsed, almost as if her knees had given out. She broke down, and my embrace was the only thing holding her upright. Hey, what's wrong? You, you fainted. Or you aren't that innocent of a person. <laughs> <laughs> I got the vapors. <laughs> oh, oh, dear lord, my corset's on too tight. <laughs> After she feebly laid down on the bed, Jokasaki opened her arms wide with a relieved look on her face. But we'll just have to imagine that. A relieved look on her face. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> this is where I wanted to be. Well. Don't worry, we'll be back for the after stories. We won't forget about you. I couldn't say it. <laughs> ah! Okay, this, this is exactly what happened on Ella's route for that one bit. Where it was just the face. Oh, for real? Yes. Because it was the scene where she was in the shower and he was thinking about it, and it was just a cut out of her face. And at that point, I'm just like, why didn't they just cut it? Uh, yeah. Because this is just weird. This is just kind of scary. It's like the, uh... It's like that cat in Alice in Wonderland, but Oh, scarier. the Cheshire cat, yeah. Yeah. I'm so confused. You know what it made me think of? You remember uh, 
the thing from Avatar, The Last Airbender, The Face Stealer? Oh, Ko the Face Stealer. Yes, yeah. That's what it made me think of. Oh. It was just like, ugh. Yeah. Oh my god, he stole her face. Like in the movie Face Off. <laughs> あれより前、あんなに針の虫色だった女子寮で女子全員から信頼を勝ち取ったと聞くすでに悪く思う気持ちは消えていたけれどまあ冬休みからはいいやつって思うようになってそうでなきゃ思い浮かべてオナニーな
デリカシーというものがないのねツンツンなら私がうんしてくれればいいのにで違う昨夜は昨夜今日は今日です彼と私は違うのだからきっちり肩をつけさせていただくわこれはもう一つの話だけど、これはもう一つの話だけど、これはもう一つの話だけど、これはもう一つの話だけど、これはもう一つの話だけど、だよねまあでもツンツンポクポクギリギリギリギリ<笑>あの怒り方は大丈夫っぽいね World's Greatest Detective ご飯よろしいですか市松さん。あ、uh,、What's up, Ayaka? Oh, I know. Uh, go take a shower ahead of time today. We kind of wound up doing everything yesterday without one and all. It was incredibly arousing on its own, but I've heard it's not uncommon for women to get infections if we aren't careful about our hygiene. <laughs> uh, so, Ayaka. で、ですから、話を聞いてください、市松さん。Hmm? Ayaka cleared her throat with an ahem. And she'd gone back to calling me Ichimatsu san. Kino no koto wa. Sono. Machigai datta. To omote kudasai. So it had come to this. Yeah, I guess it was all too convenient, and it would be normal to assume it had been a mistake. I was sure Ayaka had gotten carried away for the most part herself. Still, there was no need to call it a mistake. I could say with absolute confidence that what we did yesterday wasn't a mistake. Ayaka's behavior had told me as much. Why is it a mistake? That's why it's a mistake. I'm going to be a big fan of the city. Ah, ah, you can't use that. I see what you're getting at. I knew that. Ayaka perceived herself and her power as an extension of her family. That was only natural, as Sylvie and Alison exhibit similar behaviors from time to time. There was absolutely nothing wrong with that mindset. I had felt that way for as long as I remembered. I thought to myself, The high class girls in most female oriented manga said, I want to live free, as they ran away from their estates were selfish. Being rich meant you lived better than most, but it made it that much harder to deny your parents. They were grateful to the environment that had birthed and raised them. And that was what had naturally become of Ayaka. And, of course, the flip side to that gratitude were those outside of that environment. An underlying disdain for commoners certainly made it rough for someone like me. But. But you like me, don't you? So. 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 I mean, you said so yesterday. Um. She wasn't being honest, but did admit to that much. Good, good. Isn't that enough then? We like. You know, love each other. I said. So why not? Until you determine a marriage partner, okay? I'm not gonna pretend to be happy go lucky about this, but I'm 
I'm gonna change your mind and make you love me, even more than your family. Challenge accepted. I bet it wasn't. The Jokasaki family had a special place in her heart. I doubted I could impede on her life that she dedicated to bettering her family. I wasn't planning on wedging myself between them, though. There was no need to steal young Lady Ayaka from the Jokasaki family. I was content so long as I could snatch away a tiny piece of her heart. And I could tell I was doing just that. You just have to work hard for your family in your own way. But marriage is different. I'm gonna make you second guess that. Uh, can't you help your family even if you were to marry a commoner? And that worked out really well. <laughs> you know what, actually, uh, let's not use that example. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, uh, I'm sure it's much more publicly acceptable for you to have fallen in love with a guy you went to school with. Um... Ayaka looked distressed. Because that's a true point. Mm -hmm. I knew why. There was little chance she would just go, okay, great, after being given a suggestion she'd never so much as considered before. I just had to change that. Uh, don't worry. When you all boiled this down, I'm going to do what I like so you can do the same. I... Doug. Uh -huh. I embraced her. I'm going to make you fall for me even harder than you already have. I mean, she fell pretty hard yesterday, but fortunately we caught her. She fell metaphorically, but also literally. It's true. When I pressed my lips to hers, she didn't resist. In fact, she had closed her eyes and reciprocated the kiss with slightly puckered lips. There was plenty of emotion behind it, I was convinced. All that left was to change her values. もう、そこまで言うなら。もういいわ。好きにしてください。I feel like the first part of that statement contradicts the latter half. そう。そうね。not a boyfriend, but a paramour? Sounded like a case of rich girl pride. Oh well, this was a point of compromise. It would suck if I pushed too hard and she pulled away from me. This wasn't something so simple we could wrap it all up with it. And I love romance and me too! It was normal to sometimes grow close and pull away from your partner. Oh, but... <sighs> hey, Ayaka. I mean, I I'm, I'm fine being a paramour, but can I say something? Would you stop doing that? I've been calling you Ayaka, so call me Oro in return. <laughs> then you can call me Ichi. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. One other thing. Do you love me? Okay, that phrasing leaves something to be desired. The way she just stopped me earlier when she had said she wouldn't deny that had been just as iffy. This bothered me, plain and simple. I wanted her to say she loved me outright. And after you went, I love you, I love you so much yesterday. <laughs> You gave me a smooch while saying, Oro, I love you so much. Ayaka was angry. Hmm. This attitude of hers never changed. I had every intention of changing it in the future, but it was going to only make things bumpier if I kept rattling on about what had led us here. Yeah, 
どうしてこんな男に惚れたのよ。私。とにかく、少しずつでも引き離していかないと。気づいたら、忘れられなくされていそう。That's the power of being a protagonist. 体の方はもう忘れられそうにないしででも気持ちまでは流されないわよそう先に断っておきますけれど私にとって一番大切なのは城ヶ崎家です、uh, yeah, I acknowledge that. あと私好きな殿方もいますからねあなた以外にあなた以上に For real? This was news to me. もう何年も会っていないけれど彼にまた会えたらそれで彼と恋仲になれそうならあなたのことなんかしっぱり忘れる自信があるわ。We'll see about that. Say, what is his name? Tell me about him. Really? A rival had appeared? Ah, what a drag. そうよこんな男よりイチコの方がずっと素敵なんだから。Oh, you should have said that out loud. Boy, are you in for a surprise? だから、こんな庶民に好きにされない。今は心を奪われているけれど、何もかも好きにされてたまるもんですか It's not that kind of game, thank God. 庶民なんかに。絶対負けない Did it not occur to you that Ichikun is also a commoner? No? Okay. You know, actually, that's a really weird thing that I never thought about before now, but she has to know that he's a commoner, right? I mean, yeah, because he was at the summer camp thing. That wasn't a well to do summer camp thing. The only fancy、yeah. person there was Sylvie. So you would think, but.、Eh. Yeah. I think it's. Probably a case of selective memory. I guess. Huh. That is something I actually never thought of. I've been wondering that for a while. I just haven't said it out loud. Which, much like the rest of this situation, if I had just said it out loud. <laughs> anyway, our physical chemistry aside, the issues between Ayaka and I weren't shallow by any means. I'd gotten her to give up on marriage interviews, but it wouldn't be shocking if it came back up eventually. Even if I had confidence as Ayaka's partner, I had absolutely none as the partner of a rich girl from a respectable family. I had to come up with a way to bridge this difference between us. I was nowhere near reaching that cliche Sylvia had hoped for, where I would whisk Ayaka away from her wedding hall and run away with her. My first agenda was to get Ayaka to love me enough that she would want me to steal her away. There were other things for me to accomplish too. Like revealing that I am Ichikun. Nope. Golden Time. Guess it ain't happening this episode. Naruhodone. I'm happy, etc., etc., etc. Omedeto Maru. When did this become the king and I? Nichio no jiten de stetakedone. Ooh. Yeah, she is next door, to be fair. Well, and Rhea has supersonic hearing, so. Also, Rhea, you'll, you'll still get no argument from me yet. <laughs> hey, don't go and raid on my parade. I don't know what to do now, though. Where do we go from here? ふむふむなるほど将来的なやつね。As great as it is to live in the moment, I also need to give some thought to the future. Future. いいことだよ。とりあえず結婚を考え出すなら、道は二つある。Spell both out for me, please. I'm not that smart. お前のチンコバズーカの力であいつを取りこに一生離れられないようにする。I was unaware that we had such technology. どう<笑> ?As 
surprising as this might be, I don't think it's impossible. Um, I had already started to take her captive in that sense, I guess. But just for posterity, give me... Yeah, give me, give, give me the second one also, just, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. I'd be setting myself up for failure if I tried that. I, she'll abandon me the second I get old or limp. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll watch out for any bamboo wielding PE teachers from now on. まあ、あいつ。そういう流れになったら普通に法的訴訟を取るだけだろうけどな。泣き寝入りするような This is sounding suspiciously like uh, Sylvie's rap. Uh, that's asking for the moon. That had naturally been my first thought. To become the kind of man that the Jokasaki family would deem worthy. If I could manage that, I could openly wedge my way in when marriage interview talks came up, and could even march into any wedding ceremony and whisk her away. Most importantly of all, I was sure it would make Ayaka happy. Anytime she assessed other people, their pedigree was non-negotiable. It would be foolish to assess people solely on their lineage, but it was wise to consider it a factor. If I could become part of the so-called elite, it, then it would improve Ayaka's internal evaluation of me. And that would make me happy, plain and simple. Knowing that, I'd love to give it a shot, but... How can you become a noble? <笑>人類の9割が悩み続けてきた命題だろうな。こう。一番簡単なのは、来世に期待してそこから飛び降り。オッケー、<笑><笑> Uh, duh. But how? I wouldn't be a commoner if it were so easy to pull off. Be Maria Bishop? <laughs> Probably. Uh, for real? Tell me. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And if I have no talent? The only people in the world capable of that are you and a handful of others. Oh. How much money do you have exactly? And would you be willing to give me a small loan? Rhea fiddled with her phone, oh boy. She showed me her bank balance. It's a lot. <laughs> YouTube. I imagine Oro had the react. So you remember uh, in Mr. Deeds where he gives all of his money to the uh, college fund? Oh, yeah. And the guy just falls <laughs> backward. Yep. Uh, yep. That's what I imagine Oro's response is. He actually just falls off the roof. <laughs> no, no, that's enough. I learned how incredible Noble Academy was all over again. Uh, the fastest way for me to bring in money would be to marry you, get divorced, and then have you split it with me. We've noticed. Ah, <sighs> figures. And here I was settling for cup noodles while you were shelling out for frozen foods. I wondered if sharing with me would jack up your cost, but I'm not holding back anymore. How else am I supposed to get rich then? Kabutoka FX 
I don't know any of the rules, so I can only imagine I'd get liquidated in the future. Takarakushi. Odds are too low. Kin no kakako ga boto suru ke hai te news de atte da. Are atte mitara? I love gold. Everyone says there are signs something will skyrocket in value in the investment industry. We weren't coming up with any good ideas. And actually, if a chat like this was enough to turn up a winning strategy, the world would be full of rich people. Uh, what's that? I just have a, a mental picture of it being like when SpongeBob and Patrick tried to rob the bank. <laughs> Put the money in the bank! Put it in! Would that be from your checking or savings account? Uh, savings, please. Actually, you know what? For her bank account, that would work. <laughs> Modern banks use digitized accounting for the most part, so they only have around 5 million in cash on site now. Even if you stole all of it, I mean, that's only a salary men's annual income. そっか。10個襲って小金持ち程度じゃ割に合わねえな。あ、じゃあ宝石泥棒は犯行予告カードを送りつけて今夜幻のルビー天使の涙を頂戴に参上します。みたいな。What are we loop on the third? That'd be pretty cool though. Yeah. I don't get the point of sending a warning card. Uh, next, I have no idea where this illusory ruby will be exhibited next. And finally, I have no clue how to convert it into cash once I get my hands on it. And who's our Zenigata? Actually, you'd be surprised how much of a problem that is for a lot of thieves. Like people who actually do steal works of arts or things like that, is that then they find it very difficult to convert it into cash. Yeah, that does make sense. It was scary how she legitimately sounded like she'd steal without a second thought as long as she deemed it adventurous. Ah, Could you not just limit it to crime? Ah, you got. Does kidnapping fit into adventurous in your mind? Being a bank robber or a phantom thief made the teensiest sense to me, but kidnapping was too extreme. Actually, you know what? That could potentially work because you basically could just say, Hey, Sylvie, you want to come with me? And she'd be like, okay. Don't sell off your childhood friend. At least until Ella caught on. Oh, absolutely. 100%. All the more reason. Don't give her any <laughs> ideas. She'll say, okay, please go ahead and kidnap me. And then Ella will take my arm. Mm -hmm. I could even picture how it would ultimately tick off Ella-san. There it is. I don't get mad. The path to making money is a steep one. For most people. We <laughs> say you're the richest person One of the richest people we know. Oh, hey, well, there we go. Ah, uh, stop. I'm scared you'll bring out the devil inside of me. <laughs> a way to become a good match for Ayaka. Ah, uh, this was rough. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, your savings are insane. Rhea stared wide-eyed at how high her own bank balance was. Things got serious. She muttered that last part to herself, which made it difficult for me to hear. <sighs> you could thank her by reintroducing her to Ichikun. <sighs> mm 
ませんコーヒーをお願いしますあいよあんたはいつもエルインヘルトパカマラだったね砂糖とミルクはなしのはい Of course she drinks her coffee black あ、蝶ヶ崎先輩ですよ先輩おお、当然のように最高級のスペシャルティーコーヒーを頼んでるねしかも当然のようにブラック年下ながらかっこよくて憧れちゃうありがとう外で飲むみたいちょっと寒いけどコーヒーブレイクにはマストでちょうどいいんだろうねヒュー<笑>絵になるねいつものことながら Or a lovely CG 素敵ですわいつもながらほんとかっこいいですよね蝶ヶ崎先輩年上ながらあの子のいつもの大前自弱な空気にゃドキッとさせられるよあのアンニュイな目の奥で何を考えているやらあ<笑>、uh, It's gonna be yeah we know what it'll be <笑>オロロのうち。お尻に入れたらどうなるんだろうって。I'm so glad we're not having to read these lines. <笑>なんかオーラも悪いのよ。エッチしてる最中、ペシッとお尻を叩いたり、お肉をグニグニ揉んだりしてくるから。なのに、穴には触れてくれない。だからもう、うずいちゃってうずいちゃって。でも、触ってもらうにはどうしたらいい I like how we're spending all of this time trying to figure out how to become a rich noble so we can get noticed by her, and this is what is going through her head.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta love that contrast. I cannot imagine her talking like that, even though she's the one imagining、nope. her talking like that. But it was your own scenario. So, what I'm saying, the one you see in the Q. Kazoku, Jonga Saki, and the Massa Kinista, Oji Sama Mitomer, each of the Kushi no Elite. Smari, what I'm saying, the Kiri das Naraba. Patan B. Oh, hey, it's the one that matches our previous vision of her in our head. Voice actress had so much fun reading that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, absolutely. これはエリートというか高飛車なだけ。いや、笑い方以外は高飛車なのかどうかすら不明だわ。大体これもやはりリスクが高い。エリートたる私にはわかるわ。こんな言い方をしたらあの生意気な庶民のことだから。What? You say your butthole's enough? I, don't screw with me, Ayaka. No matter what you say, I'm sticking it in your vagina. <laughs> Come on, spread those legs. Put that p to work and say hello to my c <laughs> I am going to have to censor that line. <laughs> uh... Come on, aren't you begging for it? Don't you miss it so much your womb is aching? <laughs> okay, that's a new one. <laughs> All right. Well, we learned something. <笑>まさか見間違いですよ先輩とにかく別のやり方を考えなくてはもっと自然にまず考えるべきは向こうに断らせないことよ断られたらもう多分二度と無理になるそうノリというやつね<笑> あの男のノリの良さを利用してその場の勢いで後ろに興味を持つようにつまりあの男を乗せる感じでノリを良くしてパターン<笑> sounds like she's channeling Raina. でも今日はなんだか決断なの調子がいいようだぞよしカーラブギーポップにパカパカしている毎朝ホールでレッツダンシングオーケーあ頭がおかしいわいや落ち着きなさいあやかさっきから狂気が生じ出しているわよそういえ
I brought up the subject to her. But don't we need a lamp and a genie and... Okay. For real? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Alright. Uh, you, you don't need to measure since I didn't place an order. I don't need to start with my looks. I want to become... I want to become a modern-day Japanese noble. Or, another way, rich. お金持ちか。私ら庶民には身近だけど、高い壁だね。うちのお父さんが通販で1万円で買ったっていう金運が伸びる奇跡の稲穂。今なら、9000円で売ってあげてもいいよ。Oh man, that's almost as good of a deal as buying the Mag Carp outside of Ma Mount Moon. Okay, in my opinion, that's a good deal. <laughs> Look, do you know how much Magikarp sell for? Do you know how many eggs a Magikarp lays? Oh, I didn't realize we were going with the St. Anne sales pitch. <laughs> yep. Uh, forget it. I don't need it regardless of price. Also, could you drop it at least by half since it's used? It's just called Play Dad. Ah. Sylvia and Ellison had joined in. Can we kidnap Sylvie just for a little bit? Tatoebasa,シルビーを誘拐して身の白金を要求したら、それでレイジとしてどう対応するの？また物騒なことを聞きますね。Orbital bombardment is what comes to mind. I bet it is that. So the Tidage no Kankatska de Okitaba Iva, Watasinima Hakari Kanemas. Teroni Kusurebekika Senebekika, Kunini Modo de Sesa Seneva Narimasen. Nippon Kokuna de Oki, Yokunga Nippon Safuni Kuyonara, Urakara Suhako Kteto Nara Harao, Ketran Sarelo de Shone. Nippon Kokuno Menziori, Hime Sama no Inochi deskara. Didn't stop us in the very first episode. <laughs> hey, don't do anything stupid. Now that she'd seen Alison's sense of righteousness, this intrinsic contrarian had shown herself. Ah, uh, what would I do with her? Alison, suppose someone actually were to kidnap her, what would happen once you paid the 10 billion and Sylvie was returned? いい。その後はこの絵である私の処罰。腕を捧げるか命を捧げるかは国の決定待ちですね。It was wrong to think of a princess's kidnapping as a game. And I had nearly done just that. Looking back on it, it gave me shivers. もう、やめてちょうだいえる。例え話でも面白くないわ。そうですね。ですが、どうしてそんな話を一がやりたいことがあってさ。そのための一番の近道がシルビーの誘拐なんだ。エルソン、what's <笑> that sword for? Why did you draw it? Where did you draw it from? Our conversation had led everyone to come here. We all had dinner together. While Rio was getting everything ready, Oh, 
が貴族にかねえエルなりません使用で爵位を授けるなど Oh, oh that would have been perfect It actually would have been I mean I'm sure there's something she could have us do that would earn us the rank That's true I just don't know what Yeah, you know, it actually puts me on the spot when you take it so seriously. Yeah. Hmm. Exactly. Just a rank that would satisfy Ayaka. Was it really impossible to pull off in a day's time? Probably. Hmm. There's one way. ひまりさえすれば一瞬で貴族どころか国でも有数の権力者に上り詰める方法が What way is that? It was probably something stupid but I may as well hear her out うーんまずはそのためにあらちょっと頭こっち、huh? はいポフン While at pillow. Something kind of delightful was happening to me. I'm afraid. Oh, oh, okay. I had no clue what she had in mind, but I was happy for the lap pillow. Better let her keep going. Reyna's thighs were soft and warm. The tension's leaving me. Yosh, yosh. Oh. What the? My mind was dominated by a tranquility similar to sleepiness. I couldn't think about anything. Sure. Um, all right. M mommy. I can hear Yamamoto screaming somewhere. What game was that? What game was that? Mama da yo. Mommy. Yosh, yosh. Jaoro. Kondo wa Silvi mama ni amae na sai. Mommy? Mommy Sylvie! Mommy, this route is weird. <laughs> Accurate. Kisakiro, no, Nani, you stayed on this. Well, whatever it is, it's working. Kore de Oro got Shirubin of Kodomoninata. Shirubin of Yoshi in Nareba, Mo, Soko, Ozoko Show. Kizok Minata Modo Zen. Huh. This is really stupid. Why is it working? <laughs> I don't know. Mommy Sylvie! Hi, Mama Yo! Karekara Oro chan no koto wa Mama ga daiji ni sodate ru kara ne! How is Mommy Sylvie going to react when she finds out what we've been doing with Jokasaki? Gomarimasu! Ora, ichimatsu dono, hanarete kudasai! <laughs> Mommy, I'm scared. I'm trying to figure out if this is better or worse than the uh, Onichan mode. I think it's about the same. I was about to say, I think it's like a lateral movement. You might be right. 
たのどうにかしてうんシルビーの子供はダメかそういやエルチンも割と貴族なんだよねってことはエルチンの子供でも貴族は貴族<笑>はいオーロ次はエルチンだエルママがいるよ<笑>おみよう<笑>もう私の子です。Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm going to eat it. 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 I'm g o i n i t it. でも、オーロをああしたのは私なのにあの子を手塩にかけて育てたのは私なのに、oh, no. <笑>やっぱり渡せるかこの子はうちの子じゃ私の子よ私の僕ちゃんですわあわあガーガー All the mommies are fighting! <笑>遊びは外でやれ。狂気の宴は特にな。I was about to say the whole thing is the crazy part. You're gonna have to be more specific. Yeah. すいません。<笑> What in the world did I just do? お前が一番やべえよ。脳になんかされてねえだろうな。Why does that make us sketchy? We're the victim here. I had no memory of anything after the lap pillow. それはともかく。飯できたぞ。今日も全員分。She brought out three large frozen pizzas and ten helpings of fried onigiri. What are the rest of us going to eat? That's going to be enough for Sylvie, and that's it. はあ、おいしそう。炭水化物アンド炭水化物。絶対うまいやつ。いつもながらこれが冷凍食品とは信じられません。No veggies, huh? I mean, you could at least make some shredded cabbage. As always, her meals were absurdly unbalanced. Well, whatever. May as well eat. We all put our hands together. That's the spirit. Ria, not gonna eat? She reached for the fried onigiri. She was eating the crunchy exterior, but. Not hungry? Just a minute. As much as she loved to eat a variety of foods, she was a light eater overall. Days came where her appetite ran exceptionally thin, and this was apparently one of them. Alright,、uh, I'll eat half, so just eat the parts you like most.、Mm, thank you. Ria ate the crunchy outside of the fried onigiri, and I polished off the inside. It'd be a shame to waste it. Isn't it a little wrong to leave only the bottom of the pizza? <laughs> pizza は cheese が9割だと思ってるから。Oh, that is true for me. Man, what a selfish girl. I eat the whole thing, crust included. You lost the moment she pointed those puppy dog eyes your way. It was fine, though. She could just eat the tasty parts. 
へえソルティレージュって豚肉メインなんだはそうですね豚は牛に比べて飼育が簡単なのでソルティレージュは土地柄にあまり恵まれないから場所の必要な牛さんを育てる文化が根付かなかったの勉強になる How big is ソルティレージュ No idea Everyone was beginning to slow down on their meals Everyone was a ways off from being full, but at least their stomachs were satisfied to some extent. The conversation naturally shifted and they chatted amongst themselves. I think you're mistaking it for something kind of lavish. But let me get straight to the point. Everyone here wants meat. Come.、Uh, Pizza no onigiri mo ishi no da kere do. Nanda ka shishok to shishok o dodo megri s t e r mitai de. This had to be what it meant to have balance in your diet. The dairy and the pizza seem to have rattled our carnivorous urges. But. Hey, Rhea, corned beef. <laughs> Rhea had such a mild appetite that she'd finished eating before the rest of us and was leaning up against the bed. It must have tired her out as she started to nod off. We all shared a look, which was when Sylvie tapped on the end of her nose and winked. We were all far from full, but. I put Rhea to bed. Get some sleep. We'll take off. おやすみ、ソウマくん。おうそさま。ごちそうさまでした。We said goodbye to Ria, who gave us a tired wave and headed outside. I had brought the leftover pizza with me. うん続きどうするそうね。We couldn't eat in Ria's room, but we were far from full. All we had were pizza and onigiri. They couldn't exactly be called elegant, so Elisan would be uncomfortable letting Sylvie eat them in public. All that left was my place. Hello.、Mm-hmm. It was then that Ayaka descended the stairs from the second floor, all while carrying a large pot. Oh, that was it. Were you going to eat with Rhea today by chance? そうだけどなんだかごちそうさまって感じね Ayaka appeared to have surmised what we had just been up to since we had left the room with half eaten pizza in hand、uh, Sorry, Rhea's asleep already ああもう She had brought vegetables for Rhea again to combat her unbalanced diet This was nothing new but her timing was unfortunate And <laughs> the girls were hooked. <laughs> the blatant begging made Ayaka flinch. This worked out beautifully. Uh, we're still hungry,、uh, but what do you think, Ayaka? I mean, are you worried about our nutrition too?、Mm. I extended the question. Ayaka agreed relatively easily.
but her expression went stiff when the three of them surrounded her. What the? <laughs> she handed us the pot. Then she took a step back. She left. Huh? It hadn't clicked with the other three since they didn't know her rule. She had meant to have a meal with Rhea, and that meant she had blatantly avoided us. Yeah. That was partially the reason why I kept my distance from her. Yeah, I get the idea now. I've heard people get antsy when eating around others, and crowds could trigger the same response. That sounded like Ayaka. So, so, ne, ne, so, you, so, well, she's trying to open something. Oh, I was I was gonna make a delay. Uh, you know, right? <laughs> you got that one. Sorry. Oh, Ah, Sylvia, as unflappable as always. It was thanks to Sylvie's boundless cheer that we could avoid the mood turning sour. But... You know who's really not unflappable? Ah. Kyoro. Ah. Uh, very true. Well, now, does Kyoro flap? Or does Kyoro hover? Almost certainly. I don't know. It's both. No, uh, maybe. It, it can flap for, like, aesthetic purposes. You know what? That makes sense. She hadn't opened her heart, huh? All right. Well, I think this is where we're going to call this episode. So we have made some very distinctive progress with Ayaka and saw something rather horrifying in the process, thanks to not having the patch installed. But that's okay. I think we would have been the baby no matter what. Fair point. You got me there. That's not exactly what I was going for, but you got me there. <laughs> but it's fascinating to me that she's still pushing back so hard, but I suppose it it's still going to be a while before she drops her guard. The thing that gets me is, I really am, I am totally on board with your theory that it's going to take somebody else bringing it up, but they really are just dancing around it, like they come right up to the edge. It's almost getting a little frustrating actually actually yes because it's just like okay you can only get so close to the edge and tease I, it so I, long before it's just like okay. i'm wondering how late it will be in the route like i'm wondering if it will be because i'm convinced at the point it'll be after they are like officially together and she opens up to it it'll be after that watch it be in the freaking after story do you mean the, like, post credit, or do you mean the actual append? The append. <laughs> that would, would be really... That would be really funny, but also kind of annoying. I, I would be a little bit pissed off about that, TVH. <laughs> I would just be like, are you freaking kidding me? Whatever, it's still fun. It's still entertaining to see her develop in those scenarios in her head. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> 
This route has had hilarious scenes. I think this might be one of the funniest routes in the whole game. Yeah. I mean, and I'm including the first game because the comedy's just been fantastic through this. Oh, absolutely. So I've got to give them that. Well, all right. Well, thank you all for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and we hope to see you in the next one. For now, we are the Bridge Boys, signing off.